never done that before. I don't know yet what I'm really doing. Ooh. Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Creative Carnivore Kitchen. I found my super cool, beautiful fish pan. So let's, let's use it today. And I felt like dressing up a little bit today. It is really hot outside and in here. So this is appropriate for the kitchen. Let's make some fish. I have this beautiful whole mackerel here and I'm excited to use it because I got it from um, Monterey from California Monterey from that um, the old fisherman's wharf uh, fish market I think open to the public it's a wholesale so I picked out um, different fish and this was one of them the mackerel and I um, already cleaned it so i um descaled it and cleaned it already over there and then i froze it so now it's here yeah by the way if you wanna watch a special episode i made there let's put the sashimi steak here oh so delicious yeah fish and seafood is just the best right out of of the ocean like directly from the ocean and onto your plate into your mouth so good but i don't want to just put the fish in my nice fish pan and um cook it i want to do something something special with it so um i was thinking oh yeah i i uh destroyed it a little bit here so let's take the nice side so i was thinking i'm gonna put some shrimp in it and yeah they're still frozen that's okay i use uh, extra small shrimp these are extra small shrimp and yeah i also unfortunately destroyed it a bit in here because it was actually the first time i um took out intestines and stuff from it. i cleaned out the fish so i wasn't really good at it but uh, still gonna work those shrimp those are extra small and they're too big for that fish so let's just cut them up a bit some italian coarse sea salt put some in here so and now I was thinking, there's something I want to try for the first time. Ah, oh, I also damaged this, so I hope I'll be able to do it. I want to sew it up. So I have here my kit. It's just a... Hello, where are you? I put a needle in here. What the fuck? Shit. Okay, I found it. Here's my needle. It fell underneath this, so 
Yeah, it should stay here. It's magnetic. Yeah, I don't know why. So, anyways, I only use up for the kitchen. <laughs> so I want to sew it together. And so this is kitchen twine. No, this is too thick. So we bought just a cotton um, thread. And this is crochet for crocheting. So I tried to find the beginning and I just can't find it anywhere. Ooh, is it there? No. So I have to cut this. Yeah, but now I can't. I think I cut the bad part. Man. Really, I hate that. But isn't the beginning sometimes in here or... I don't want to take it out of this because then everything comes apart. I thought if I cut it somewhere, I'll be able to... Ooh, ooh. Well, here's one. Part. Well, I don't need that much. Maybe I can just get some... So, I, I got a long enough piece here ready. So, and I also put some more of the shrimp in. Let's see how many. Maybe it's a bad idea to put them in frozen. Well, I don't know. Oh yeah, that one fits perfectly into this needle. This is really just a, as it's a thicker, but a normal needle, it's nothing special. So, make a knot. Maybe a double knot, second one, I don't know. So, let's try this. I want to leave enough space here. So it's not gonna, because you see fish is very delicate. Oh man, how long is this? Let's see. So I've never done that before. I don't know yet what I'm really doing. Ooh. And cotton, that's 100% cotton. So that's very safe. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm actually shoving the shrimp to where I already sewed it together. So maybe I can put in some more. So, so maybe up here in the cavity a bit. Oh yeah. Cool. I actually like sewing. Hmm. Well, if I wouldn't have messed it up beforehand, I could have Make nicer stitches here, but I think that works for the first time. Yeah, I should uh, should do it a bit more tightly. Definitely gonna try that again sometime. Cool. Here I have a flavored seltzer. This time pineapple. Ooh, that sounds good for fish and seafood. I'm gonna pour some in here. Turn that on. Well, I don't have a, an appropriate stove for that pan, but I think that should work. Ooh, almost perfect. Yeah. More salt, of course. So I'm starting to heat that up. In the meantime, I uh, heated up some animal fat in here. Yes, I used it before. I reuse 
um, fat to deep fry. So I want to deep fry quail eggs and that's so super cool. I've done that before. It's so much fun and of course so delicious. Try them just shortly because then the egg yolk still stays um, liquid if I'm lucky. fish is cooking along here I I heated it up on like middle heat and now I'm actually turning it way down I just thought about oh maybe it's a bad idea to put the shrimp still frozen in there because the fish um, it's a delicate fish you don't want to overcook it but I want the shrimp also cooked so now I'm a bit scared if the shrimp even get cooked or not well those are just two pieces I didn't fill in this out. I'm guessing after it started cooking I um, left it on for like four minutes now. Oh shit that's what I didn't want. It's like so I want to try to hmm, flip it over. Uh, I already lost skin. That's why I put in the seltzer. Let's put in some more before I flip it over. Aww. I'm so excited to use this pan. I'm not used to um, cook with copper silver pans. I mean, it's really cool. I want to do that more often. Okay. I can't cook the thing here. Well, the eye is, um, you can see it's white. That means it's cooked through. Of course, not on the other side. So I'm, I'm gonna heat it up again because I put more of the liquid in it and I wanna bring it to a boil again. I think once it starts boiling again, I'm gonna do it another four minutes. I only made three quail eggs and I think you see there's some yellow. I don't know if a yolk is already leaking out. and. Um, maybe you could see it. Oh, I have to turn the fish down because of the heat. So, maybe you could see it when I uh, put them in the fat and was deep frying them. They really got like poofed up. They like were like, woo, but now they always go back down. That's just what happens, but they're super delicious. I mean, soaked in nutritious, healthy animal fat. Yeah. By the way, the fat I used, I used it over here. So now I'm just gonna cool it, let it cool down here. And it's really warm today. So maybe I have to pour it in a Tupperware and put it in a fridge. But then um, when it's um, like more solid, I put it in here, just in a bag and put it in a freezer and I reuse it. F flipped it over again and this side is still nice. So that's cool. I think I want to leave it in this pan. I like it. It's pretty. So let's see. Where is our... Ooh. No, that's not the thread. I should not put them in frozen. Oh, actually, yeah. Fish is so... Look, I can just... <laughs> oh my gosh. Ta-da! Yeah, I mean, fish is so um, soft. Let's see. Yeah! Still raw in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to put it on much longer. Yeah, I usually don't make fish in the pan anymore, so 
I'll just put it back a bit for a bit longer. Ooh, I think now it's done. It's good. All in all, I left the fish uh, in the pan cooking for about 12 to 15 minutes. I made myself a plate here to try this. Let's try that one first. One of the deep fried quail eggs. Mm. Oh, I forgot the salt. <laughs> of course, I need to put some salt on them. Mm. So good. I mean, deep fried in the eggs. Really cool. Oh well, yeah, and I think that's the one that um, the egg yolk kind of ran out a bit. Still um, a bit liquid, the egg yolk. I like that. So I'm going to... Beautiful, huh? It's fish, so I'm going to turn it over now. I'm going to add some more the juice here. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Actually really good. Mmm. And the pineapple flavor gives it a bit of a a hint of flavor. And now with some of the shrimp it gave birth to in a weird way. Mmm, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That was really good. I'm actually oh here's one. So I'm surprised I don't find any bones. I it didn't look like it, but I feel at it pretty well. Oh, here are some bones. No. They're all gone, the bones. I was like, yeah. I did a good job. Oh yeah. Cool. So let's take a piece of fish. Oh, come on. So let's get juice, maybe a little bit more. So shrimp. Where is it? And the egg. Oh, that's going to be a good bite. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Thanks for watching. If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy, the next level cooking show.